M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Uniden SDS200E Scanner, and I've got mine just custom searching. So I'm not using favorites, I'm not using the, if you press the to scan here, we've got all the presets here. Mine's still got all the USA stuff in, because I've been looking at that, it's great fun. You literally just press zip code, put in a zip code in USA or Canada, and it just loads up everything that's in that area. It's, it's, it's just brilliant. But anyway, we're not using that at the moment. We'll just back out of that. The, the squelch button is the back button. So there it is scanning. And over here you've got system where you can change through the different systems in the USA. Then you've got within that, you've got departments. That's the middle section there. And then channels, okay. And it's scanning away. Now, if you hit channel and freeze it, then go to F. Now you want it fro you want it to sort of stop turning. So push that again. Let's just go. I'm gonna make sure it's not scanning. Then go F and one. No, it's not gonna do it, so go that again. Channel F one. Okay, it's scanning. And if you notice, mine is saying it says air band because I've gone into the software, which I will put a link in the description and a video to show you how to do this. So mine is scanning just the airband and I have selected the frequencies. If I, and also if you look here, it says number one. See that was scanning what number one has been told to scan. If I press number two, we're now scanning number one and two. And if it holds, because it's heard, it's heard or received something, just, turn the silver knob to the right or the left, it will keep scanning. Eventually, when it gets to the end of the airband selection that I've put in, which is 137, it will then move on to number two, which you can see highlighted there. So let's just wait for that to happen. It's, even with the squelch, I've got the squelch quite low, or quite high, but it's still, it's picking up. That's actually aeroplanes. We've got the spacing on 8.33 at the moment. Now it's moved on. Did you see that? It moved very quickly to number two, CB bands. Okay. Now if I add number three, see the digit change here. One, two, three, four, five. Now it will keep going through and cycling and scanning through all those bands. Now if I press number one again, two, and three, look, it deselects. Let's do number four as well. We've deselected bands one, two, three, four. Now, to your chit chat where you, where you were trying to explain or get some information from Jack. Um, there you go. From you now, that is a two meter node that's about if, four or five miles from me. If you go forward, uh, keep searching. Now, I, I've, I've changed most of mine. So let's choose number seven and then deselect number five. And I've actually got GB3WR there. Now these aren't memory channels really. These are just names of custom searches. So you name it. And then the parameters of the search I have put in 145600 to 145600. I suppose thinking out loud, I could have put 14500, all the zeros, and then 145600. And then I would have got the input as well and in between. So you're, you're deciding what the, what it's searching. Let's go for number eight and then deselect number, number seven. Again, turn it down. Again, I've set this custom search. So it's just searching 434550. I've renamed the search and it's almost like a memory channel. And it's so much easier for me to use it this way. Although I do have another... Uh, favorite that that's been created created for me for the whole of the UK. Um, the problem is with the Uniden is that if you're in the UK, you can't get all the benefits that you get where you just put in the postcode. You can't do that, which is a shame because that's so easy. So let's see what I put into number nine. So we we'll go number nine, and then we'll go we'll deselect number eight. Oh yeah, I put in my DMR hotspot. And if that comes to life, let's see if I can find the DMR radio. So there you go. Let's turn that up a bit louder. Now that is DMR in the UK. Oh, right, right, right.
Alpha. This is Yankee Charlie One. If you Mike look Charlie here, Delta. DMR number, and it's even showing Take the talk group. My friend, At the top, the United Kingdom. it's showing the slot United that's being used because on DMR you have two slots slot one and two. Many okay. use two. Now, this person is using one, DMR uh, slot one, two. He's on talk group uh, 91 um, and it's showing his DMR number. Uh, and then we've got a nice strong one, signal because it's my hotspot in this house. So if I had several hotspots, this radio will pick up NXDN, P PDM, no, let's get it right, DPMR, P25, a thing called Pro Voice, which I don't really know what it is. So if I want, I can now select all the other bands, all my other pre-custom, including zero, and it will just cycle through all of them. So I can just leave it there, just cycling. Every now and again, I've got to turn this knob if it stops. I mean, I've told it to, on the, within the software, and you'll see it in the link that I give you, you can tell it to only pause for one second. But I find that if it's hearing a signal that is continuous, then it won't pause. You have to keep going. Now, there may be a setting in there, someone tell me. If I only, even, would, even if it receives a signal, can I say to it, okay, I don't want to hear it for that long. I just want to hear it for a few seconds, then move on. But that's, this is the air band. Let's turn it up now, see if we get any. I'm near Bristol Airport. I'm near Bristol Airport, so we're going to get some aeroplanes. Sometimes it's really busy. I'm near Cardiff Airport as well. And Exeter, and I do hear planes that are coming in talking to, and they're saying the word London. So I'm guessing they're, they're, they're trying to land at London. That's six meters there. Marine bands. Not picking up nothing there. Then becoming ah. southerly four or five in west. Moderate or rough in west. And if you find one that you really like, you can add it as a favourite. I'm going to do a separate video on that. Perhaps thundery at first. But occasionally... If we lower the squelch. For the following 24 hours, variable 2 to 4 at first in east. Otherwise, southerly or southwesterly 3. Yeah. And there is a weather selection on here, which I will check. Moderate in west. But that's, you know, still fun, isn't it? Click resume. And it's going back Ken, now. I'm, I'm up in Sheffield. Going back through to my other selections. Go, all right, Let's okay. try the weather thing. I think you press. Back out. So we go back to scan in the normal mode. I mean, just this is this in itself is amazing. This this selection you've got system and. Apartments, channels, you can go, if you want more information, you go F9, and it puts a more detailed information there as well. Loads of information there, but anyway, let's go F, and then 6. Now we're on the, oh, that's weather. Not sure if that's actually going to display it. Let's back out with squelch. F6. Weather priority on, that's not really showing me the weather channel, it's just prioritizing. Let's go back to that DMR one that I had. So we'll go channel, F. If I have to get the channel right first. There, yeah. no, it's not gonna do it, so it's typical, isn't it? There it goes. Right, so the one we had where it was showing DMR. Is someone on the airband? Deselect that. That's GB3WR, two meter repeater. There's my hotspot, so that should come through now. I can deselect number seven. Okay, Linda. 
very, very, very strong, sognata. So it's great fun. Yeah. What I like about it is you can just sit okay. here and you can just listen to everything that this scanner will get. The, the proper way of doing it is you create favorite groups. You put all your frequencies into those favorites and then you can select those groups. But I find that for me, I just want to scan everything. This, this works for me a lot better. Thanks for watching my channel and 7-3, all the best. Please remember to hit the like and subscribe button.